What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling. Now I'm a little bit behind on this news, however I still wanted to bring you a video anyway. I'm sure you're all aware by now that the WWE have actually issued a ban over thigh slapping during matches. Now, there's a specific reason why I've taken a few days to actually sit down and make this video, and it's because I've been thinking about it. Am I for this or am I against this? Now guys, initially, my reaction was like this. Why? W why have you done that? And that's because for years I've been watching wrestlers like Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler. Was looking for the pedigree! Maybe not. Hell, even Alberto Del Rio, as much as I dislike him as a person. DC! Oh, kick to the side of the head! They all used the thigh slap, the leg slap, effectively. And they all knew how to make it work. And I think the biggest part of making slapping yourself in wrestling work is it being discreet. It being, uh, you know, uh, not seen. Uh, you have to try and hide it. And that's not easier said than done when you're in a ring and you've got people all four like corners around you uh, in the crowd. And then you've also got loads of camera angles as well. It's a lot harder to do when you're in the WWE trying to conceal that thigh slap. But that's where it's most important. You have to try and hide that because once casual viewers start picking up on that, they're going to think it's fake. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> and my girlfriend is a casual wrestling fan because of me. Since she met me, she's been, you know, she likes wrestling and it's a great thing. I'm not complaining at all. But when she turns around to me and says, he just slapped his thigh there, that's when we have a problem. Because if she's seeing it, then everyone else who's a casual fan must be seeing it as well, surely. And that is where the issue lies. And WWE have banned this thigh slap. You know, I don't think it's permanent. I think it will be for now. But when you look at the NXT roster and guys like Gargano <laughs> and Adam Cole. This could be it! Oh, God, as much as they are fantastic... Their leg slaps are so obvious, especially Cole. Now, I am a massive Adam Cole fan, but you can always see when Adam Cole slaps his thigh on a super kick. Here's just a few examples. A slam into the ladder and Cole holds the deep green. And they're ready for Adam Cole. Oh! And that's where it needs to change. Because when you think about it, Cole's an NXT, and NXT appeals to mainly the hardcore wrestling fan base. And they're all going to pick up on that. Now, back in the day, back in, like, you know, the 90s and the 80s, thigh slapping wasn't really a thing. However, when you were using other moves, such as punches, they would, like, hit themselves. And a lot of guys, uh, such as Rey Mysterio Sr., uh, you know, I've read about him in Rey Mysterio's Behind the Mask book. I've also heard Conan interviews about him. He apparently used to punch himself or hit himself whenever he would throw a punch or a strike. And it was so fast that you couldn't see it. And that's when it works. When you do that and it works, that's when you can keep it. But when guys uh, such as All Elite Wrestling, when you look at guys such as you know, the Young Bucks, you can always see them slapping themselves. Super kick. Oh, yeah. asking. Oh. And, you know, I'm not an AEW fan. I don't watch Dynamite every week. I barely watch anything to do with AEW. And that is because I'm not a fan of the constant leg slapping, diving style of wrestling. Don't get me wrong, I like it. But I prefer the more grounded, strong style, technical style, such as Daniel Bryan. That is my style that I prefer to watch. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you like the Young Bucks' style, that's absolutely fine. There's so many different styles of wrestling. You know, it appeals to everyone. But that's just not for me, so I don't watch. And that's what mainly AEW is, and that's where they have an issue. Because when you have your guys slapping themselves constantly, you can see it. Now, there's ways around this, and I'm not a professional wrestler. I'm a backyarder at best. I've trained in wrestling literally a minute amount of times professionally. But when you hit a move, if you hit it hard enough, the sound will come with it. Do you see what I'm saying? So, a lot of guys in the current modern day wrestling world seem to focus on sound more than they do impact. And that's where we have an issue. Because when you've got guys throwing kicks and missing, but you still hear the... It's like, hmm, okay. The, the main example that comes into my head was, I don't know when it was, it was NXT a 
a couple of years ago, I believe 2018, Lars Sullivan and Alistair Black had a match, and Black hit the Black Mass, and it completely missed, but you still heard the sound. And, oh! Oh! and that's when it's like, okay, guys need to start focusing more on hitting the moves. Uh, because when you hit a move hard enough, and it doesn't have to be hard, guys, you don't have, I'm not saying you have to go and start caving people's heads in just to get legit sound. But take a look at this clip. Now, in one of my backyard matches against Ben Cage, I hit a kick to his midsection. Now, although you cannot see my legs, guys, I promise you, no crosses, no crosses, I promise you, cross my heart, I did not slap my thigh. Now, watch and listen. Oh! Now, this is because I kicked Ben. I legit kicked Ben, and I had that impact, meaning the sound came with it, and that is as simple as it is. Guys like Daniel Bryan, who are hitting the yes kicks over and over again, you hear that sound. Daniel Bryan glanced up at the WrestleMania sign. He knows what it's about to main event WrestleMania, what it's like to, to win the WWE World title there. He wants to... And that's because when they are doing that move, they are using enough power and enough force to hit their opponent to get that sound without legit hurting them. Another example is Sheamus and the Brogue kick. Oh, the Brogue kick! And Big Show and the knockout punch. Oh, no! You see these moves and they have that impact. You see them connect. And if they have sound, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But because they've got impact, they don't necessarily need the sound. The super kick is a move that has been used over and over and over again in modern wrestling and the thigh slap is something that has come along with it. I don't think it's time for it to be removed entirely, no I disagree. However I do think it is a good thing for WWE to ban it momentarily. They need to show their wrestlers, the wrestlers need to learn and by the way guys they've been doing this day in and day out for years, it's going to be muscle memory by now that when you hit moves like this you slap your thigh. They need to break that habit. And once guys like Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano, uh, you know, Dolph Ziggler even, I know some, uh, he's quite good, but a lot of people that do these moves, they need to break that habit. Because once that habit is broken, you can start focusing more on the impact. And then when you get the sound of the impact, you can focus on bringing the slapping back maybe if the sound isn't there on your impact and you want to hit a move and you're not getting the right sound i know it can be awkward and you think that that sound will help that move and you're entirely correct but you need to focus on not doing it with the thigh slap for now so that in the future you can more discreetly bring it back and that's what i think this is i don't think this is a rest in peace thigh slap it's gone forever no i think this is just wwe's way of maintaining the realism i guess you can say trying to keep kayfabe alive in ring you don't want wrestling to become more like a performing arts show when you're in the ring like you know doing what you've got to do when you're in there having a match you don't want it to look like it's a stage production when you're trying to simulate a proper contest. I sort of contradicted myself there, but I'm sure you guys understand where I'm coming from, right? Anyways, where do you guys stand on the thigh slapping? Overall, in conclusion, I think it's gone for now. Wrestlers need to learn how to do moves without the thigh slap and focus more on actually getting the impact of the move. And then if that doesn't work, then you can, you know, or once you've broken that muscle memory habit, slowly, more discreetly, Bring it back, but hide it. So that, there you go. That's what I think. I don't think this is a bad thing. I did at first. I've come round to the idea. I don't think banning the thigh slap is a bad thing. But anyways, let me know your opinions on the comment section down below. Are you for or are you against? Tell me. I've been Joe from Joe Thoughts Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Burn!